Hello! Welcome! Today we are doing the first episode of the series where it's going to be a code challenge series where me and my friend will be coding uh, an application which was which will be determined by this spinning wheel that you'll see, that you see on the screen right now and it has a bunch of different uh, applications on it and whichever it lands on we have to code. Now there are some rules to this for instance, no pre-existing code can be used. So let's say I've written an application in a previous uh, challenge or uh, an application that I've done like a week before prior to this. I'm not allowed to use that code whatsoever. No copying code from Google. That being like if I, if I need to look something up and I, I look on Stack Overflow and I find the solution, I can't copy that solution. I need to modify it and use it uh, in a unique way must be for this code uh, challenge it, it needs to be a CLI for uh, upcoming ones it might be different uh, not entirely sure but for this one it's going to be uh, make use of the CLI being the command line interface a console app max amount of one third party library so let's say I was doing a web scraper I would be able to use HTML agility pack for instance the aspects considered when choosing a winner is speed and memory usage and obviously, you know, if we're scraping something, for instance, there's this one meme generator, or if I was doing, let's, a better example would be if I'm, if we're doing a, a web scraper, then it would be like the amount of data visually represented to the end user or something like that. Either way, let's get right into it. All right, so what we have on this wheel is a simple chat app, meme link generator, a video downloader, quote of the day, and coin slip simulator now i'm gonna start spinning here I'm excited excited let's see what it's gonna be and quote of the day generator it needs to generate a new quote every time you start it up the time limit for this project is going to be 20 minutes each and uh, yeah all right so i'm gonna start the timer as well as i type go to him so he knows when to start all right, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to press enter in and start the timer, of course, in three, two, one, go. All right. It's, uh, so what I have planned out for this is I'm going to be scraping quotes off of the Internet being using this page, obviously, called uh, goodreads.com and all the, the quotes on here. I'm going to make uh, yeah. I'm going to let it scrape. I'm going to scrape one of these quotes. A new one. Uh, I don't know. Uh, considering putting them all in like a list and then... Because it needs to generate a new one every every time you start. Oh, time is running out. So let's let's get Visual Studio up. Let's file. New project. Actually, I already had the, the quote project up. My bad. Alright, let's switch over to Visual Studio as well by doing so all right there we go so let's start off by let's say let's see we're gonna be using HTML agility pack so I need to get that out real quick HTML agility pack perfect perfect let's uh, download now New get download. Let's see. Here we go. Now we go into Visual Studio, Tools, and New get Package Manager. Let's get the console up, paste it in, and we got HTML agility pack. Perfect. Now we're going to uh, create a. We're gonna call this scraper. This is going to be handling the scraping of the data. Let's make it public. Put a constructor in there and let's create another oh let's create another class we're gonna call this generator now i'm in a state of mind where mvvm is my main focus because that's what i've been working with these past weeks let's see let's make this public as well uh, constructor now for the generator, we want to create a public, I, well, private void generate quote. Perfect. And for the scraper, we want to scrape the data. 
Now let's see how much time I've left. Okay, 70 minutes, cool. We're going to, for the scraper, let's create a public void scrape. Oh, scrape. And in here, we're going to create a, let's do web equals new HTML web. Okay, well, HTML web. There we go, HTML agility pack. Perfect. I don't know why my reshopper is acting up. It's been acting up the, these past. Oh, wait, because I changed the settings. Um, I got SAML help now. Was well, intelligence with SAML. That's a different video. Anyways, now we gotta do very document equals web.load. And we're gonna pass in the website that we're gonna be scraping from being. First website, there we go. Perfect. The first query is going to be. So we're gonna call it. What are we gonna call this? It's actually, we're gonna pull up, pull that up on the on the screen so you guys can see that as well. There we go. Let's make this. Oh. Now I resized the wrong window. Perfect. Here we go. And to put that over here. I hope you guys can see. We do this. We're going to be scraping all these things. Uh, inspect element. We can see that it's a div. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see. Div class quote text and inside. So the inner text will be okay. Let's see if we can get the the div class quote text. We're gonna call this quote quotes because it's going to be a collection. So plural equals uh, document document nodes select there we go select nodes and we're gonna do everything div okay uh, there we go. okay so the attribute is going to be class equal oh there we go and quote text I think I spelled it. Okay, this uh, huh, this did not really work out as planned. The quote text that gets everything. So, inner, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how much time do I have left? Ten minutes. I don't think I can get another website in ten minutes and start scraping that one. Uh, 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 We're going for it, quote website.
All right, there's the timer. Okay, he's done as well. So am I. So time for testing. Let's see how this goes. All right, so let's analyze my 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 app and let's see where we where it'll take us. All right, and let's check out my friend's app. And if I recall correctly, my fastest one, one was 1209. Let's try it again. Let's try running it like so. Let's get into debug and... Oh, wait. 1141. I, now I forgot what his fastest was. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna open it 10 times and see the fastest time. Honestly, I lost count, but the quickest one I could get to was 1108. So that's what I'm gonna go with, and I'm gonna. There's probably a lot better ways to test this out, but for, th for this, I'm gonna do this. And last one. All right, so analyzing the most recent pictures that I uh, I took uh, seems as if I won on that one. If uh, okay, well let's see. So yeah, I seem to it's it's really close. Like it's really really close. Besides the you know the retained size and whatnot, but besides that, he actually got uh, a time faster than me. So. I would say that approved one on time, whilst I won on memory, which I thought it would be the other way around. Like I really thought, like I, I genuinely thought it would be the other way around, the running the tests as well. All right, so let's finish off by looking through his source code a little bit. Let's see, program, get the main here. Okay, so let's start at the top. Uh, okay. We got a string array. Eight strings in it. Oh, he. Uh, so, looking at this, it's it's very similar, very similar to uh, what I did. Let's see here. So, we got a while true. Uh huh. Wonder if okay well that. Look at this. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. So he's. I would say that his code is way more optimal. Like it, it, it looks better than mine by by miles. And uh, he is by far a better coder. Like that's it's like you can see right here. Yeah, but I think we both were somewhat stressed. At least I was like I was sweating. Um, but this was really fun. I can't wait to to make more of these. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below on what whatever you want to see. Like what what kind of application you want to see us develop, and then you know we can make a challenge out of it. So let's say you want to learn how to create something we could uh, make a challenge on that particular application. That being it, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I really did. And yeah, if you, if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.